Hello everyone, I am Ovi of OviDuran.com and today we are going to talk about uh, the Nessus Vulnerability Scanner. Uh, Nessus is developed by a company called Tenable Network Security and uh, it is free of charge for personal use in a non-enterprise environment. If you do work in an enterprise, then you have to purchase uh, Nessus and the price goes for about uh, $1,500 a year. Uh, Nessus allows scans for many types of vulnerabilities. Uh, for example, uh, they include vulnerabilities that allow a remote hacker to control or access sensitive data on the system. Uh, misconfiguration, uh, for example, open mail relays, missing patches, etc. It can also detect denials of service against a TCP IP stack by using mangled packets. Or it can also help you uh, prepare for a PCI DSS audit. And many other things too as well like uh, finding botnets and malware on your computer. Now to download Nessus, we're gonna go to Google. You're gonna type on uh, Nessus Home. And you're gonna click on this link, Nessus Home link. Now that's gonna take you to a registration page. You need to register uh, because they're gonna send you an activation code which you're gonna need in order to activate Nessus. So you're gonna put in your first name, last name, email address. Make sure that you uh, insert a good email address. Uh, country of origin. Uh, check these uh, check boxes and then click on register. Now to download Nessus, you're gonna go to products. Click on the Nessus vulnerability scanner. Here up on the top right, you're gonna see a download link. Click on that and select the operating system that you're going to install Nessus on. In my case, I'm going to install it on a Windows 7 machine. So I'm going to uh, choose uh, Windows and choose the version that applies to you. In this case, I, as I said, I have a Windows 7 machine. I'm going to download the 32-bit version. If I had the 64-bit version, then I would choose this one. But I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Click on Agree. Uh, save the file to your computer. I've, I've already done that part, so I'm going to skip this. And double click on your uh, downloaded file and install it. Once Nessus is installed, you're going to see this window. Welcome to Nessus. And you're going to have to con uh, connect via SSL by clicking on this link right here. After you click on that, you're going to see the following window. The uh, Welcome to Nessus 5 window. Go ahead and read this uh, the instructions here and then click on Get Started. Immediately after that, you're going to see another window. And that's the initial account setup. Here you're going to choose a login name and a password. It could be anything, but make sure you remember it or write it down because that's what you're going to use to log into uh, Nessus from that point on. Click on Next. Then you're going to get to this window. Uh, this is a plugin feed registration. Now you need to go to your email and you're going to copy the uh, registration code that was uh, forwarded to you and you're going to paste it here. Then you're going to click Next. Here, if you have any proxy settings, you can go ahead and insert it there. Uh, in my case, I don't. I didn't have any, so I just I went ahead and skipped this step. Click next. Then you're gonna see this window, the registering Nexus window. Then click next. After that, you're gonna see this this window, um, and what this is doing, it's a it's gonna fetch all the uh, plugins for Nes uh, Nexus, and it's it, this this. Uh, um, this can take about 15 to 20 minutes. Once all the plugins are installed, you're going to see this window. Nessus is initializing. And finally, 
you're going to see the Nessus uh, sign-in page. So let's get out of here and let's go ahead and log in to Nessus. So you're going to go to All Programs, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on the Tenable Network Security, then click on Nessus, and then click on the Nessus Web Client. Click on continue. And here it is. This is a Nessus uh, login page. So go ahead and log in. And this is what Nessus looks like. It's uh, This is an HTML5. And before you do anything else, you're going to have to create a policy. So click on policies up on top. Then click on the new policy button. And here you see all the plugins that are that come with Nessus uh, 5.2 uh, as default. Here you have the host discovery, basic network scan, credential patch audit, web applications test, Windows malware scan, mobile device scan, uh, PCI audits, and advanced policies. Uh, for this uh, tutorial or review, we're just going to do the uh, basic network scan. Now we're going to name this policy. You can name it anything you want. Uh, visibility, we have two options, private and shared. I'm going to leave it as, on, as default, private. You can add a description if you want. Click on next. Here we have two scan types, internal or external. I'm going to leave it as default, internal. Click next. And here we have the authentication method. Uh, by default, because this is a Windows machine, it already selects Windows uh, for me. However, if you had a Linux or Mac, then you would have to select SSH. But we're going to leave it at Windows. Go ahead and insert your credentials. If you have a domain, you can insert that now. Uh, in my case, I don't. So go ahead and check these two boxes, remote registry service and the admin shares. Click on save. And that's it. That's my policy right there. Now, in order to, uh, to do the scan, you have to click on scans and create a scan. So here's the new new scan button. Go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to name this scan the same as I named my policy. Just to make it easy. These are all the policies I created before. Uh, you can save your scan on any folder in your computer. Um, well, not the computer, a Nessus. I created several folders be before, but I'm just going to leave it as default on my scan. Uh, targets. Uh, you can uh, scan an individual host, or you can do multiple hosts. In my case, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do every host on my network. And now I'm just going to click on Launch. And there it is. It's doing the basic scan right now. It's running and this should take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but as you can see, I've already done four scans today. And if you click on one of them, let's choose this one for example. I'm going to show you what a, a scan report looks like. And this is it. This is my scan report for my network. As you can see, it has a nice uh, pie chart. And you have red, it means critical. Orange means high. Yellow means medium. Uh, green means low. And uh, blue means informational. So if you, if you find vulnerabilities, make sure that you take care of your criticals first before you do high, medium, etc. 
and according to this scan I have this is my router by the way I have 15 medium vulnerabilities uh, 7 low vulnerabilities and 52 informational um, that's my these these are my computers on my network and it even picked up my Android uh, wireless device which is this one the very last one and yep that's it that was my Android so let me go back and as I said this is my router let's take a look at what this is uh, medium medium vulnerability SSL certificates uh, cannot be trusted that probably means that I need to update my router with a new firmware and I should definitely do that today or tomorrow so if I click on this it'll give me a, a description of the issue and a solution and also this is the uh, plugin output so this is what a uh, scan looks like so I'm gonna go back to host now if I wanted to uh, print out a report um, there are many ways that this is, uh, does it uh, this is the uh, just go ahead and click on the export button up here as you can see there are there are five different ways for you to print a report my favorite is PDF or HTML so let me go ahead and print an HTML report just to show you what it looks like and I have three options uh, the executive host and plugin reports so if I click and drag this one to the report content my report will only contain the executive uh, information if I, I can drag these over if I wanted to it's more information per report but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and only print the executive reports instead it's a little quicker much faster so click on export that was my firewall by the way and this is what the executive report looks like host summary and they break it down by server medium low informational plugin ID the name etc that's host number one host number two all the way through five and so that's what a uh, vulnerability report looks like let me go back to the main page if you wanted to add a new folder just click here type in the new folder name and once you click on save it'll show up here on the left uh, menu so that's pretty that's pretty much it uh, this was a uh, short review of uh, the Nessus vulnerability scanner I hope you like this video thanks for watching again I am Ovi of OviDuran.com thanks again